let's talk about some basic class polymorphism. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create a class. So this class is my language class. And language is, well, I speak English, so we'll go ahead and make this um, English language. And all I want is this function, void greet, to go ahead and just print out a greeting. So I'll do see out and I was going to say hello. All right. So I could go ahead now and create a pointer to that class and use this. So do language and I'll do a pointer and do I'll do person one is going to use this language right here. So person one, I have to actually create something equals a new language. And then person one can do my greet right there. And I go ahead and I run this and this runs and it says hello. So that's good. Next, I want to take this language class and I want to create a inherited class Spanish class Spanish and I want to go ahead and grab my language from this Spanish class but the greeting is gonna be a little different I want it to be overwritten and use different words so I'll do avoid greet and now I'll do a see out and in here I will just type hola all right so what what does this get me what can I do well because the Spanish class inherits from the language class I can change my pointers here a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and create a second pointer so I'll use Spanish and my Spanish pointer person two, I'm going to go ahead and sign that to a new Spanish object. And I'll go ahead and change this thing right here where person one, it's still a pointer. Person one and person two are both pointers. Person one is going to point to the same object that person two points to. And now I'm going to use the person one grading. And then I will use the person two greeting. And we will compare and see, do they do these do the same thing or not? Because what we have here is we have a, a Spanish object is the only one being created. And that Spanish object, both pointers, person one and person two are both using that same same name right here so what happens so i run this you can see it says hello hola so that's kind of interesting because they're using the same object but what happens is because person one is defined as a pointer to a language and spanish is defined well person two is defined as a, a pointer to spanish it assumes that person one really wants to get the language greeting and it assumes that this person too thing wants to get the Spanish greeting and so it kind of does this little seeking down to the correct one so how do I fix that well if I want it to work correctly and we have to decide how correctly is what I'm thinking is correct would be that this object this Spanish object should be given the same greeting no matter whether or not I use pointer one, person one's pointer, or person two's pointer. And the way I can do that is by using this virtual keyword. And so what that does is it makes it so that when this method is called, it's going to use the newer one if there is a newer one, or an overridden one if there is one. So I'm going to go ahead and run this now. Now they both say hola. 
And the reason is because both person one and person two point to the same object, which happens to be a Spanish object. And this language thing says, well, we're going to use this greeting if we can. If I were to assign person two, well, person one, if I were to assign person one also to a, a new object right here. So if I take this out and use it up here equals new language, then person one would still use the original greeting and person two would use the overridden greeting. And you can see now it has hello and hola. So this is kind of a way to make it so you can use derived class objects using the pointers of their parent class, which is language in this case. So basic polymorphism.